Hey, um, I'm back. Today we're gonna do a little bit, uh, something a little different. Um, I'm gonna try to make my process a little easier, and I had a little discussion with uh, some of you guys on the Facebook um, e-waste group about whether or not a rock tumbler will work to uh, look I've got like and I'm not joking there's not a lot of pins here but in the back room I've got so many of these depopulated random connectors full of pins and um, I don't have the patience to sit here and pick these pins out now these are gold plated on the tip and not on the rest so this would be like a really low yield pin but I don't have the patience to pull all of these out so what I thought you know you guys use like a ball mill so I thought I don't have a lot of ball bearings and this is probably gonna do absolutely nothing uh, I've got some other bearings ordered but everything because of uh, because of coronavirus like everything coming from eBay is really slow so I'm gonna go with what I have. And if these don't work, uh, honestly, I might go get a little railroad spike and cut it up and put it in there because it just needs, so it's gotta work like a hammer. So um, I'm just gonna take this one. I bought this dual barrel one. So I'm just gonna do one for now, but I'm gonna stick those in there and then I'm gonna fill it like uh, halfway full. If there's ones like this that come off of floppies um, yeah, they come off floppies and hard drives and stuff like that. And some of these come off of SCSI ports on old server boards. And frankly, some of these pins can yield pretty good, but they're stuck in this plastic and I just don't want to do it. So what I'm thinking is if I stick some of these in here and it chunks the plastic up, then I can run it through the mesh screens again and possibly separate some of the plastic. So I'm hoping that the impact from some of these balls over some time will break the plastic apart. It probably is not going to work. If it doesn't, I needed a ball mill for uh, when I incinerate some of these chips anyway. So it, it will work for that. Um, so I'm going to stick some of these in here. I'm going to stop the recording for now. I'm gonna stick some of these in here and um, and then in about six hours, and that's what we're looking like right now. I'm gonna let it go for about six hours and then I'll continue from there. Look, this one, these pins come from uh, laptop battery connectors. They have a lot of surface area on these, so stick that in. Those are actually pretty easy to take out, but again, uh, if this works even remotely, then the idea would be to get a bigger drum and uh, do, them, do them a lot at once. If this doesn't work, the next idea is to take the rest of it and just like chips, we'll just pyrolyze it and then, and then put it in there when it cools off and let it run that way. That will work. That's 100% going to work, but I'm trying to save a step because I'm lazy. So... All right, I'll see you guys in six hours. Okay, let's do part two. It's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. I recorded that first part around 11, so I said I'd be back in six hours. I lied, it's been three hours. Um, we're gonna see if we have any progress, because frankly, I'm trying to use the computer next to um, this, and it's really distracting, so I wanna turn it off for a couple of minutes. If it's working at all, uh, then I'll let it go over the weekend when, while I'm home and see what I've got. Well, I'll come back up uh, tonight for a minute. Maybe. Let's see what we have first. So, <clears throat> this is appearing to be mostly, uh, like I guessed it would be, is mostly ineffective. Um, we've got a lot of big pieces but I don't know if I can show you this there's actually quite a few pins um, I 
You look around the top and there's someone to the bottom there. But it actually did knock quite a few pins out. But crap, I could have done that with players in minutes. So it looks like, and mind you, I've only got those three little uh, ball bearings in there. So that's not much for striking. But so far, it looks like doing it this way is uh, a fail. I will probably take some different... I'm going to turn it back on just because it is knocking some pins out and I'm doing other stuff. But um, I guess we can see about incinerating some of these. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn this back on for now and then I'm going to take some pins out and then I'll incinerate some of these probably tomorrow and we'll stick them back in and see if um, if we can get the pins that way. So, okay, that's it for now. Okay, we're gonna fast forward a day or two. I let that rock tumbler go for quite a while and it did not result in what I wanted. Uh, I did free a pretty good amount of pins. It is really bright out here. I freed some of the smaller style pins, but not the IDE ones like I wanted. So, uh, instead, we're going to try something different. And I've bought this uh, paint can. It's just an empty paint can, never been used. And I put all the stuff in. So, I'm going to. Uh, I started a fire, right? And uh, I'm just going to let this sit in here for a while, and hopefully, it'll sort of incinerate ish the plastic. And then when it cools off, I will take it back in and put it back in the tumbler. Um, and we'll let that go for a day or two. And then maybe we'll run it through um, a couple of those mesh screens and see if we can get the pins separated from the ash. So we're going to try that. I'm going to shut this off to put it in the fire so I don't drop my phone in. And um, I'll check back. Wow, here we go. All right, so this is like, what, part four or five now? I don't know. Uh, I, so I let a fire go out and I went and got the bucket, uh, back out of the barrel and I'm going to show you what I got. And I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, I don't know how much you can see here. There's a big clump in there that makes it a bit hard to find anything, but, um, there's... I had some like VGA ones in there and some different stuff, but this is a lot of ash, a lot of loose pins, and then some of the bigger um, steel housing stuff, the tin, whatever housing that goes around some of them. So I'm going to uh, dump this whole nonsense into the rock tumbler. Uh, it does look like it was very much going to be a success. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here and let it tumble for a while. I'm going to break one or two of these big chunks up with a hammer on the way in just because there's a couple of big chunky bits. But, um, but that definitely worked. That definitely worked really well. So uh, I think I've got my new way to do pins, but I will keep doing it. Yeah, let's see if I can finish this without rambling too much. It's uh, the next day. Um, I let the pins that we incinerated go in the tumbler uh, overnight. And then I recorded a different video and then came back to this. Now I have to piece all this together and upload it so you guys can see it. But there we go. These turned out what I think fantastically. There's a couple of steel balls you see. The bracketry and whatever that was in the... Uh, holding the pins in place. A lot of this is broken apart. I saw one little chunk that I might have to re-incinerate in the next go, but basically I've stacked all these and I don't want to make a giant mess on my desk with the ashes. Um, normally we would be, if we were doing this with ICs, which I'm actually doing in the next video, uh, these, normally we would want to catch all of that ash down here in the middle of the stack um, to try to recover the gold bond wires, but these were just plated pins and connectors. So there's no bond wires here. 
only pins and some brackets. So we're gonna see what we get. I'm just gonna dump them in. That's uh, that's all of that. And I'm actually gonna go like this. shake it a few more times just because uh, we want to get as much of that down as I can. And then I'm going to take my ball bearings out. Uh, one of them is stuck. We'll just set it to the side. Okay, this is one of the pieces I was talking about. This had... This still has some pins um, stuck in it. So I'm gonna set this back in the container that I hold the pins in. And then the same with this one. So I'm actually holding it by a bunch of plated pins. There we see that. So I want those. I'm gonna set them on my desk. See if I can pull those ones out. This one has to be reburned. All of these brackets are just Well, probably pretty much tin. These standoffs may be brass, but I don't care. I'm just going to throw that um, down there in that other bucket where that stuff goes. You know, let's keep going down and seeing what we find. Okay. Second level down, we've got the beginnings of some pins. So... I'm going to pull some of these bigger pins out of here. We've got more brackets, more chunks. This worked uh, surprisingly pretty well. Uh, better than I expected, really. Uh, right now I'm just picking out some of the big pieces that aren't pins. So that I've got less to sort through. This has still got some pins in it that can get burned again. Some weird pieces of uh, ash or something. Okay, so we'll throw those down there. Okay, and then as we go like this, I am seeing a good amount of these bigger pins in here. So I'm just kind of pulling them out of the mesh to show you. I'm not going to be able to do this whole thing uh, probably on the video. But as you see, as we get further down, I should be eliminating some of the trash and getting more to, more to pins. And which we are, and they're scorched, but who cares, right? And the further I go down... I'm actually going to dump these on the desk and sort out the uh, other stuff. But as you can see, the further I go down, the more pins there are. And less garbage. This one, let's shake this a little bit better. These must be my, yeah, these are the ones from the IDE connectors. Um, and then I'm getting down to here. I'm getting a lot of fine dust in here. We're getting quite a few. So, did I get on the camera? There we go. We're getting quite a few pins. Then we got down to here. We're getting some really fine dust as we get down here, but no more pins are making it through. Normally, I'm guessing right around here is where we'd start seeing bond wires, but uh, again, there's none in this. So, I'm gonna sort all of these um, on the desk. And then I'll do one last clip. I'm going to take them and then I'm going to wash the pins a little bit. Just give them a quick rinse and then um, and that'll be it. So, But we know that it worked. So that's something.